late Finance Minister Chris Sinclair is promising that thousands of Barbadians who are due their 2014 to 2015 returns should receive them by the end of April. He made the comment to reporters at St. Stephen's Black Rock, where one of his constituents celebrated her 100th birthday. Just before Christmas, the Barbados Revenue Authority told CBC it has posted over 6,000 returns for 2014 to 2015 into the hands of Barbadians. People would have started getting their checks from around, I believe, August, uh, July, August. So um, our goal is to try to complete that significantly, if not entirely, by the end of the current financial year, and certainly um, before the next uh, filing deadline has passed. The finance minister also says that most of the returns for 2013 to 2014 have been dealt with, except for a few. As you know, when you say pretty much complete, people say, oh, but I didn't get my, there are one or two that are still outstanding. Some have issues, um, and we urge them to call the Barbers Revenue Authority and get those sorted out. But by and large, uh, we can say more than 97% of all those have been paid. And we have actually started to do the 2015, uh, uh, the, these, that would be 2014 income year, and the previous one I was speaking about would be 2013. So we've begun to do the 2014 filings. Barbados' export sector had very few bright sparks last year as overall exports slumped during 2015. This is according to Central Bank Governor Dr. Dilal Worrell, who made the revelation in the bank's review of Barbados' economic performance for 2015. Total exports of goods were down by roughly 7% owing to declines in food exports. Exports of chemicals, which account for 17% of goods, increased by only 1%. Rum exports rose by 3% on the strength of rum, which is aged, bottled, and packaged in Barbados for export. Meantime, Dr. Worrell said on the import side, the constantly falling price of oil resulted in a reduction in overall import costs. Retained imports declined 11%, principally due to a 31% reduction in payments for fuel imports. The prices of imported fuels have fallen by 42%. Consumer goods imports were also down by 11%. Here now is a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across our region. 